Here we are, day one of my 13 for 31 series, where I release 13 videos for the 31st of October, which is Halloween. All these will be Halloween inspired, so let's get into it. Project number one, these have been incredibly popular lately, and for good reason, are the wooden jack-o'-lanterns. I've got a piece of cedar over here. This is currently about three quarters of an inch thick, a little bit thicker than I want to work with. I like the way half inch works and looks a little bit better with these. I'm going to create some files here. You'll see me cut these on my CNC, and these can be customized any way you want. They can be ran horizontal, vertical. You could put pumpkin faces on there. You could put characters as far as like witches, skulls, bats, script, happy Halloween, you trick or treat. You have anything like that, and these don't even have to just be Halloween. For Valentine's Day, you could put a heart and an arrow and a couple sets of initials. For Christmas, you could have a snowflake, you could have a snowman, you could have your Santa cut out. Thanksgiving, you could have a turkey, whatever you want. These are incredibly versatile. So I'm going to show you a couple that I cut, two different variations. One special thing I'm going to do, though, is I've noticed a lot of these are just secured together with butt joints. We've got a CNC, so we might as well use it. So I'm going to actually cut mine and join mine with box joints. So let's take a look at it. Got these box joint corners here. Real simple and easy trick or treat with the spider. All your box joints there, your bottom. Everything is glued together except for the lid. Then you can use the actual stem here as a handle. That will just press fit right into there. Here is my finished and assembled jack-o-lantern. I love the fact that it's dark in the negative spaces here. And off camera, I put a couple of coats of this spar urethane on there. That will help this stay even more weather protected than it already is. With this being cedar and with this on there, this is going to look fantastic for years to come. Again, these are fully customizable. These don't even have to be outdoor. You can use different woods for these. These can be inside. These can be outside. Whatever holiday or event you want to celebrate, these are perfect for that. So here we go, project one, day one, jack-o'-lanterns. But you've got your traditional up and down style. And then for this one here, I wanted to go horizontal. You know, pumpkins come in all different shapes and sizes. So do these jack-o'-lanterns. So you've got your, your typical jack-o'-lantern face there. You've got your trick-or-treat here. And the coolest feature about these is you can put lights on the inside. These can flash, these can strobe, can speed up, slow down, you can change colors. If you got a witch, you can make it purple. If you got a ghost, you can make, make it white. You can change different colors, but there you go. Project number one, these awesome jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> 